Howdy y'all. Time for my food journal again. Um, I've been forgetting which day to do this, so I'm going to try and start doing it on Wednesdays when I do my weigh-in, just to kind of help me remember. So, last Wednesday, which was the 5th, I forgot to write it down, but it was the 5th, I did my weigh-in. It was the same, with no loss and no gain. And on that day, I had coffee. I had, uh, that was at noon. At 7 p.m., I had a beef patty with green beans and asparagus. And at 9, I had some blackberries with whipped cream for a total of 15.5 net carbs. And I fasted for 19 hours that day with one meal and one snack. And I haven't been um, as, as real trying to get one meal a day this week because I tell you why. I've been working outside in the yard and if I don't eat a little bit before I go outside, then I get to feeling bad. So I've been having a snack or a meal before I go out and get started working over this past week. So I haven't done very many one meal a day. So let's see, on Thursday the 8th, I started off at noon with coffee and then I had some blackberries and sugar-free whipped cream and that was at four. At five I had some summer sausage and a few pork skins and then at seven I had a meal of uh, tilapia, steamed cauliflower and grilled zucchini. Um, so on Thursday I fasted for 18 hours and I had a total of 16 net carbs with one meal and two snacks. Uh, Friday the 9th, I started out the day at 1 o'clock p.m. with a cheeseburger without a bun. And then at 8 p.m. I had some rotisserie chicken. And at 9 I had a cup of coffee. And you'll notice that for the last week I've been counting three carbs per three tablespoons of cream. It's because of the brand. Uh, certain brands have zero, some have less than one, uh, some have one. This one is what I could find this week. It has one carb per tablespoon, so that's why I'm counting them sometimes and sometimes I'm not. It just depends on the cream I can find. So on this day, Friday, I only fasted 17 hours, but I had a really low carb count and I had two meals. So this is typical of this week because like I said, I want to eat something before I go outside and really get started working. Otherwise I feel bad. Um, so I've been keeping my carbs real low, but I've been eating more and eating more often just, you know, so that I'll feel better and have energy uh, for the work that I'm doing in the yard and garden. Okay, so Saturday the 10th, at 9 a.m. I had coffee and at 1 p.m. I had scrambled eggs, bacon, ham, and cheese. At 3, another coffee and then at 7 I had stuffed veggies and um, what I stuffed them with was just um, the sausage and cream cheese mixture and so I figured out how, how much each one of those would be. Wait. No, this time I didn't use the sausage and cream cheese. This was um, rotisserie chicken that I had cut up and mozzarella cheese. That's right. So I stuffed these veggies with uh, chicken and cheese. So that, that was my meal at 7 p.m. Then another cup of coffee. And my total carbs were 19. And I fasted for 17 hours. And I put a little X there because my goal is 18 hours. But... Uh, yeah, I've been trying to eat before I get started working, so sometimes I'm barely missing the 18 hours and I'm getting two, two meals, but still low with the carbs. Sunday, the 11th, uh, I had coffee and cream at 10, and then I had a big breakfast uh, at noon, although it was carb-free, and then another coffee and at 7 p.m. ribeye steak and Brussels sprouts with butter and then another coffee. So on this day I fasted 18 and a half hours. I had 17 net carbohydrates and I had two meals. Okay, on Monday I started out the day at 1.30 p.m. 
with a cheeseburger without a bun. Uh, and then at 6 p.m. I had a coffee. At 9, I had some bacon-wrapped cheese-stuffed meatloaf. And um, I listed all the ingredients and everything, but I didn't eat very much. I, I ate less than half of what I put on my plate for that. Um, and then another coffee at 9.30 which puts me fasting for 18 hours, a total of 10 net carbs, and two meals for Monday. And uh, so I'm either getting all this week, instead of one meal a day, I'm either getting two meals or a meal and a snack because uh, I'm wanting to eat before I get started doing a lot of physical activity. Okay, so Tuesday the 13th, coffee a couple of times in the morning, and then I had a snack at 3, which was just some thinly sliced summer sausage, that uh, venison summer sausage, and some cheddar cheese. And then for supper that night at 8 p.m., I had some fish and shrimp with fried cabbage and all the little stuff that went with it. Tartar sauce, butter, lemon juice, that kind of stuff. Um, and then another coffee at 9 o'clock. And that put me at 20 hours of fasting and 16 net carbs with one meal and one snack. And so that brings us up to current. This is today, Wednesday. I have my results and uh, I can tell that I'm eating a little bit more. I'm up a little in weight, although I do think that that has a lot to do with fluid retention this week. But um at 10 I had a coffee and at 4 p.m. I had a beef patty and some stuffed peppers and that was the sausage and cream cheese stuffed peppers so that's what I've got for today so this was my last week in review what I've eaten and how much I've fasted and you can tell like compared to last week where I had one meal a day one meal a day, one meal a day. I was doing really good on that last week. But as I tried to really get busy outside, you know, using a push mower and hauling stuff around, picking up sticks and carrying dirt around and stuff, uh, one meal a day wasn't cutting it. And I don't want to feel fatigued, you know. Uh, just like this, I had three meals on this day, but only 12 carbohydrates. So I'm keeping the carbs nice and low. Um, but I'm I'm eating more often but it's still real low carb stuff but I'm having a snack before I go out like one meal and one snack one meal and one snack or um, this is two snacks or two meals but you can see I had two meals this day but only five carbs so I'm still keeping those carbs nice and low and um, just trying to be sure and get something you know, something to eat before I get outside and get busy in the heat and uh, get exhausted, you know. So, been keeping the carbs nice and low. I think all week long I had under 20 every day. So, doing good there. And so, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Y'all be sweet.